welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss how to save the to do to the to do collection in app right and to do that inside the repository folder here i will create a new file named as to do repository okay now let me move to auth repository and from here let me copy this code go to to do repository and paste it here let me change the name from i auth repository to i to do repository right and let me remove these methods and let me change the name to add to do and here it will be changed to title then it will be description then it will be is completed and its return type will be boolean right and here i need to pass the user id also and let me remove this password okay so whenever we will add the to do we need to pass this user id title description and is completed and here instead of user i need to use document now let me import this package from fp dart and let me import this one also so we have created this uh, add to do method now i need to provide the implementation of this add to do and to do that again i will move to auth repository and from here let me copy this and move to to do repository and paste it here now i will change the name from auth repository to to do repository and here i need to implement this now let me import this one let me import locator let me import this inter internet connection checker and after that here i need to provide the implementation of add to do so let me copy this and paste it here now let me copy these parameters also and let me paste it here okay and the return type will be this now here i am checking the internet connection now here i need to change the logic to save the uh, to do to the uh, to do collection inside app right and to do that here first of all if the internet connection is available then here i will declare a variable and i will give the variable name as document id and here i will create a unique document id with the help of id dot unique right after that let me remove this user and here i will create document document equals to await app right provider database dot create document and after that here i need to pass the database id so let me import this and now it will not be user collection id it will be to do collection id okay so in the app right database dot create document here i have passed the database id here i have passed the collection id and here i need to pass the document id also so here i will pass the document id variable which we have created and in the data portion here it will be user id then it will be title then it will be description and then it will be is completed right now here i need to pass user id then it will be title description and is completed okay and now here i will return this document 
let me import this app string let me import this app server exception that's it so we have provided the implementation of this uh, add to do method inside the to do repository fine now i will move to the utils folder and inside the utils folder in the apparate constant you can see that to do collection id is already added now i need to move to the locator and here i need to add the to do repository also so let me copy this paste it and here i will change it to to do repository fine now i will go to the to do folder inside features here i will create a qubit with the name to do what it will do it will create a qubit folder with two classes to do qubit and to do state now here in to do state let me remove this it has created two classes to do state and to do initial fine now here i will create few more classes let me copy this the first class which i will create will be to do add edit delete loading this is the first class fine after that let me copy this paste it the second class will be to do fetch loading let me copy this once again actually i am creating all the required classes for fetching adding adding deleting okay and after this to do fetch here i will use to do add edit delete success then to do fetch success and if the to do is fetched successfully then here i will use final list of to do this is the to do model which we have created and here i need to use the constructor that is to do fetch success and to this constructor here i will pass required this dot to do model right and after that here i need to create one more class that is to do error so i can copy this paste it here and let me change its name to to do error and here it will be now string error this will be to do error and instead of this dot to do model it will be this dot to do error so we have created this to do state now let me move to to do qubit and here let me remove this now import the required packages now here first of all i need the instance of to do repository apparate provider and storage service like we have done here let me move to auth qubit and if i go to this uh, login qubit then you can see here we have the reference of this auth repository so let me copy this and now let me move to to do qubit and let me paste it here and let me import the required package similarly i need actually auth repository is not required here i will require the to do repository fine so here i will use to do repository to do repository and i will need the storage service so let me copy this paste it and let me change its name to storage service copy this 
paste it okay now here i will create a method void add to do and this methods will take what title description and is completed so i will make it as required required string title then required string description and then required bool is completed so these are the required parameters now whenever this method will be called first of all we need to emit a state which state we need to emit to do add edit delete loading after that here i will create a variable final res equals to await and i need to declare this method as async so here i need to write await then to do repository then i can call the add to do method and here i need to pass the user id title description and all these parameters fine now from where i will get the user id i will get the user id from storage service dot get value and here i will pass storage key dot user id okay here i have passed all the values inside uh, get value that's why it is generating the error let me cut it from here let me paste it here and there is no need of this user id here and put a now it's fine okay now here i will use res dot fold and here on left i need to use failure and whenever failure will be there at that time we need to emit the state which is state we need to emit the to do error okay and this in this error i need to pass failure dot message fine now in this on right here i will use document and here i need to emit the state which is state to do add edit delete success right so our add to do function is created now i need to move to the to do view not to do view add edit to do view and there i have created that uh, submit function here i need to call that add to do function which we have created inside the qubit and to do that here first of all i will declare a variable final title equals to let it be title editing controller dot text similarly let me copy this paste it and let me change it to description and it will not be dot title it will be description editing controller dot text right after that here i will use context dot read then here i will use the to do qubit and then i will call let me import the flutter block now i will call the add to do function which we have created and here the required parameters are passed right first of, first time when we are adding the to do at that time instead of this is completed we can pass false also or we can pass is complete because by default the initial value of is completed is false okay so we have uh, 
use the submit function now here I need to wrap this form with block consumer and here I need to check the different states but before that it will be to do qubit and it will be to do state and in the listener here first of all I will check if state is to do add edit delete loading at that time what will happen at that time I need to display the full screen dialog loader then in else if here I need to check if state is to do add edit delete success if it is success then first of all I need to cancel the dialog loader and to do that here I will use the cancel and here I can display a message to do created and to do that I can use custom snack bar dot so success and in the message here I will use app string dot to do created similarly let me copy this paste it here and if there is error to do error then again I need to cancel the dialog and here it will be so error and here instead of to do created I need to display what I need to display state dot error now I need to move to main dot dot and here I need to register the to do qubit as well so copy this and instead of this here I will change it to to, to do qubit now let me do a hot restart let me click here let me give the title as flutter and here let me give the description as or we can write the title as flutter app write and here I am giving the description as we are learning app write now click on this add it is displaying message the current user is not authorized to perform the requested action so we need to set the permission also so let me move to the to do collection in the settings here in the permission here or we can click here all users can create read update delete update this so permission is updated now let me check it once again click here invalid document structure missing the required at attribute id now let me move to the to do repository and here i think i have missed the id attribute so in the id attribute also we need to use document id now let me do a hot restart once again click here give the title as app write and here i am writing we are learning flutter app write now click on add now let me move to this to do collection and let me check whether it is created or not yes the document is created but this progress bar is not hiding let me check what is the reason let me move to to do qubit add edit to do view and if there is success then here I have hidden but why it is not hiding
okay let me do a hot restart once again but before doing that here if the to do is added successfully then here i need to call the clear test function as well let me do a hot restart once again now click now here i am giving it as spring and here i am giving series coming soon now click on add let me refresh this now you can see that uh, this is added that i saved but actually this progress bar is not hiding let me check okay here i have not used emit in the to do to do qubit here i have not used this emit that's why that state is not generated okay it's fine now now let me do a hot restart once again click here then again i am giving spring complete series coming soon now click on add now you can see data is added it is cleared and we are getting the message to do created successfully and i can check it in the apparate console as well yes it has been created this is how we can save the data to the to do collection that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching